hello children today we are going to study aburi chai devi's the wood rose this is what we discussed in the previous class i am going to continue with the story so this is a, a story by abuda abuda aburi chai devi the wood rose the title of the story is the wood rose and this tells about the story tells about the life of an isolated woman who begins uh, to identify herself with the wood rose creeper so this is the story about uh, so um, her grand her daughter in law she brought this creeper and she planted it and this old woman she wondered and she asked her instead of planting this flower this wood rose you could plant or you could uh, um, you could plant brinjols or lady fingers it should be grown because you know we will be benefited out of it you will get vegetables and she suggested but her daughter in law said those plants are useless and they prefer that is modern uh, you know new generations new generation um, people they prefer useless cacti and crotons instead of all these plants so she planted that plant um, wood rose and in 10 days that uh, seed started to sprout in the plant and her daughter in law no she was so joyful and she watched it grow every day as if it was a very precious thing and uh, as it grew tall enough you know she used to tie it the plant tie the plant to the pipe on the wall and she let the creeper spread all over the terrace so what happened you know in 3 months the creeper spread over the balcony wall and it began to envelop the uh, grill around the balcony and it was uh, you know uh, it was pleasant to see the plant growing all over the balcony and now the old woman whose uh, only pastime was you know uh, sitting in the balcony and uh, seeing the passers by she now uh, she now you know dropped that and she now uh, thought of looking at the plant growing and in the upstairs if you see there is only one room in the upstairs and uh, the rest of it is open terrace and the old woman's son uh, he used the room um, as a study room uh, when he returns from office and he used to spend his sundays with his friends in that room and one day his her son he called his wife and scolded her and uh, the reason the old woman she does not know and he scolded his wife and uh, uh, one fine day when her daughter in law was cleaning up the house uh, she arranged slum, uh, some flowers in a glass vase uh, in the living room and besides yellow and red roses her daughter in law the old woman's daughter in law she put in some Uh, shoots with rose that is with a uh, color of sandalwood she uh, you know along with roses she put some other flowers also and that looked strangely attractive to the old woman and she asked her daughter in law what is it uh, they look you know strange and uh, some are fresh some flowers are fresh and some they look dry and brittle and she asked what kind of flowers are these they look strange and she asked why did you put them into the vase with the fresh roses because the roses roses are fresh and her daughter in law said this is what we call wood roses and uh, uh, she took it from the plant from the creeper this is wood roses and she said in this arrangement uh, i wanted to show that uh, age and youth together so you know in that vase fresh roses were put with this wood roses and her daughter in law said 
she want, wanted to show age and youth together so the wooden rose this uh, wood rose stands for old age and fresh roses symbolize youth and she said a flower arrangement like this is called ikkabana what is it the flower arrangement with the old and fresh flowers is known as ikkabana ikkabana actually is a, the classical art of flower a uh, classical japanese art of flower arranging and the meaning of the term was later extended to encompass all various styles of japanese floral art so what is ikkabana the classical japanese art of flower arranging so uh, and her daughter la uh, said Uh, and i'm sorry not daughter in law the old woman said why don't you call it mother in law and daughter in law instead of saying you know oh, a, a old and fresh why don't you call it mother in law and father i'm sorry daughter in law she said smiling her daughter in law also smiled so after that old woman you know she was attracted towards this wood rose flowers and she used to spend time in the balcony eagerly watching for the wood roses instead of watching passers by so you know before the plant before this plant was planted there she used to sit in the balcony and she used to watch passers by that was her favorite pastime and now she sits she spend her entire time in the balcony watching the wood roses okay and she felt uh, that some affinity with the plant a uh, growing so a connection a bond was created between is being created between the old woman and the pot uh, and the uh, plant and the entire creeper was dotted with pretty bell shaped yellow blossoms and it was waiting for the wood rose to bloom so she was so happy the old woman was so happy and one sunday after completing her breakfast she went to the balcony to sit there and to watch the plant suddenly he uh, this old woman she saw her son gopalam that is her son's name gopalam g o p a l a m she saw her son gopalam cutting down and pulling down the wood rose plant which had spread thickly up to the terrace wall and she so- shouted at him and she called him why are you pulling out the creeper she shouted but he didn't reply or he didn't say her son didn't say anything immediately the old woman she went to the kitchen and asked her daughter in law why he is cutting the wood rose plant and her daughter in law replied he will not listen to me your son will not listen to me she muttered the old woman was worried she went to the balcony again and she told her son see it was a good plant why did you pull that plant out uh, it, it's good to pull out. it is not she said it is not good to pull out a creeper in full bloom but her son shouted at her and she moved away quietly and uh, now she thinks uh, things you know how things were few years back her son she, he used to be affectionate when he was a boy he even uh, he even would not tolerate her father shouting at her mother and when the fire would uh, did not burn and the kitchen was filled with uncomfortable smoke this son her son gopalam he would say when he was a boy amma when i grow up i will see that you don't have the trouble of cooking so she that time was deeply touched by those words and the tears used to come 
well up in her eyes but now today he is a grown up man and she today now old woman she need not have to cook and after his return from america where he spent 3 years he is not able to enjoy spicy food and this woman old woman she used to use a lot of chilies when she cook so her son used to say that he does not like all these old food these days and she doesn't know to make biryani or other you know to bake cakes also so she will never go into the kitchen so that son has completely changed now and she says like adults so are the children the grandchildren at at uh, the house grandson or granddaughter they never like gossip they never spend uh, their time with her with the old woman or with the grandmother they spend all their time only reading comics uh, and they were now wearing thick glasses so that night when she was uh, when uh, when she was having uh, her you know food with the family at the dining table she slowly asked her son gopalam gopalam why did you pull out that plant that way she asked and he asked her son asked which plant because he had forgotten about it already and the lady said the old woman said that udru's plant ha oh, the son said it had become a nuisance it had covered up the veranda grill and was blocking the light into the ha- hall and uh, he said it had spread all over the window of the room upstairs uh, and uh, it might he said have crept all over the terrace and he said it seemed ready to cover up the whole house and so he pulled it out he said carelessly but that was a companion that plant was a companion for the woman she went away and she laid on her bed she couldn't sleep a stream of thoughts disturbed her mind the odorous plant filled her mind completely and now she has lost her joy she says who knows tomorrow even my own son situation might be the same so the mere thought of it scared her to no end so she says maybe the affection between two people should not grow as thick as the dense creeper because she now feels bad so the mother only knows how to cling and entwine all round the other so if you see in old age most of the older women face family problems like um, uncomfortable relations with son and daughter in law uh, limited interaction with children grandchildren their daughter in laws uh, sometimes you know don't like their uh, interference in family matters and also children are busy with their jobs and their husbands invariably have mood swings after retirement and mostly restrict women old women free movements see most old women are self conscious uh, uh in old age women turn towards sometimes you no know, religious rituals uh, and activities uh, pilgrimage etc and some like this old women towards you know plants uh, or you know gardening and she was so happy she was able to feel a bond between her and the plant and uh, she was so connected with the plant and she says as a mother she could she could shower that much love on the plant but her son in return he does not have that love so she is filled with utmost grief and compares her life to the creeper plant so she is also like that creeper plant at any time she also will be removed from the family by her son saying that she was a nuisance so this was the situation in most of the families especially indian families where old people are not given importance so this is very excellently narrated through this story the woodrose meet you in next class thank you